Zainab Chowdhury, she's the director of the Council on American Islamic Relations Office and joins us now from Washington, D.C. Welcome to the program. So we have a ceasefire, which is a great, great news, of course. But uh, has anything you've heard from the U.S., uh, will that really address any of the root issues that caused the latest Israel aggression? You know, the ceasefire was a top demand of Muslim organizations like CARE and many others who've been um, following the developments coming out of Palestine and Israel. Um, unfortunately, we know that it doesn't stop here, right? It seems like every year, every few years, Israel bombs Gaza, causes widespread death, destruction, and chaos, and then agrees to a ceasefire. Um, you know, 232 people have died in Gaza in U.S.-funded Israeli airstrikes that have targeted shelters, refugee camps, media offices. Uh, schools, mosques, um, dozens of children have died, thousands of people are injured and displaced. And the question is, where do we go from here? Now, President Biden has said repeatedly that he believes that Israelis and Palestinian lives both matter. If he wants to actually demonstrate that, he can do that by actually canceling the arms sales to Israel, by not blocking the UN Security Council resolution admonishing Israel for its crimes against Palestinians, and actually making sure that the policies coming from the Biden administration reflect those values and that belief. And there is an uh, effort to try to, um, to stop the arms sale. We know for, many have, have, have signed uh, uh, whatever it was exactly, forgive me, I forget right now, a declaration, something to push that forward. I know Bernie Sanders is trying to, to, to block it. Uh, surely uh, that will cause that to be, um, to be stopped, will it not? Well, well, the Biden administration is definitely feeling the pressure. Um, in the House, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has introduced a resolution. Um, in the Senate, Senator Bernie Sanders today announced that he's also introducing a resolution, the partner resolution to the House resolution. Um, and there are more and more members of Congress who are hearing from their constituents who are concerned about the fact that uh, we are seeing these gross human rights violations coming out of Palestine, out of Gaza especially, and the fact that our tax dollars are being used to, um, to to help fund this uh, oppression and this illegal occupation and this genocide of sorts of Palestinians is unconscionable. And many more people are reaching out to elected leaders. I think we're also seeing more members of Congress who are also taking a conscientious stand. Um, and this is going to be something that I think uh, President Biden, if he wants to continue to, to curry favor within the party, he's going to have to pay attention to these concerns. Zainab Chowdhury from uh, Kaya, uh, thank you so much.